scholarship season is coming soon and you're going to be applying for a scholarship we go hard this year make sure that you put in your best and don't give up if you do not get it you will apply again and if you do not get it you will apply and if you apply and then you don't get it pick up from experience what did i do wrong what how can i improve it who should i contact to help me hi achiever i hate to be the bearer of bad news but your scholarship search approach is probably the reason you do not have a scholarship today i'm going to be sharing with you some of the mistakes that you've been making in your scholarship search and how you can work on it in order to get a scholarship so if you're new here hi i'm z and on this channel i share a lot of useful information on education and self-improvement so i'm going to be sharing with you four of the mistakes that you are probably making at this point in time and how you can work around them the last one is the most important so stick to the end of the video to see all of this information so the first thing you're doing or the first mistake you're making in your scholarship search is that in your mind you are thinking it is not accessible and i know that it sounds it's, it might sound very simple and um something that you feel like it's not very important to hit on but because of the kind of information that I share, I have interacted with lots of people from different places who are trying to apply for scholarships and who want scholarships. The theme that I find in a lot of people who end up probably not getting scholarships as soon as they want the scholarships or not getting the scholarships at all or haven't gotten the scholarships yet is that these people feel like this, getting a scholarship is not something they can get. So in as much as they're trying to get a scholarship, they feel like it is something out of this world. You know, they need to be exceptional. They need to be different. It's not accessible to them. Mental preparation is important if you're trying to get a scholarship. If you feel like getting a scholarship is something that will be difficult for you and you do not, um, it's not accessible to you. It's for some special kind of people. And sometimes when people come to me, they ask me, information information that i would have to go google and find that information for them when they could have also googled and found that same information the fact that i am here talking to you doesn't mean that i know everything you have what it takes to also get that you have what it takes to get a scholarship it begins from your mind it begins from whether or not you feel like you really 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 want the scholarship and whether you think you deserve it and i also have to admit that even before i applied for a scholarship whenever i had scholarship it sounded like something that just too far away until i started the process myself and then i eventually ended up getting the scholarship so you can get a scholarship prepare yourself mentally first and then you can uh, go through the process and get a scholarship so first eyes on the prize and believe you can get it the next thing is something that I, 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 I say every single time and I, I can't stop saying it and that is research 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 if you want to get a scholarship and you're not doing any research no matter how much information I share with you I'm sorry it's going to be difficult for you to get a scholarship because if you're trying to to get what kind of scholarships are available, you have to do some research. Even if someone tells you that this scholarship is available, you have to do the research to know what steps are involved in the application process. How do I make sure that I have a good application? Do I need to write an essay? Do I not need to write an essay? Are they looking at my grades? Can I apply when I have um, a second class lower? Can I apply when I have um, um, maybe... I had this grade in this subject you need to do a lot of research and that is how you can make your application stand out so research 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 so also the other thing is that even if you have someone to guide you for instance I'm willing to share information but if you come to me and tell me help me get a scholarship or help me like how am I going to help you you get what I mean and I feel like with a lot of people you need to be specific so if you come to me and you say I'm writing um, I'm applying for a scholarship and I would like to know um, how I can make my essay stand out or I have research for the scholarship and then they are telling me that I need to submit um, an English language proficiency test and I don't I can't try the IELTS I can't afford it what are the op options that I can go go with or I'm trying to apply to a university and I can't play, pay the application fee what do you advise and I'll tell you okay this is what you can do you can apply for a waiver you can do this you can do that I would be able to guide you but if you come and tell me help me I wouldn't even know how to help you even if I wanted to help you so it, and it's not just about me in this case if you need help but i'm just saying generally even if you are trying to get any kind of information you're trying to get you need to be able to do the research i 
in my scholarship search god knows the kind of research i did i read a lot of information on the website i went through google searching for all of the information i followed people um, on social media who had the same scholarship i wanted to get i sent them dms whenever necessary to ask them specific questions i just like literally was doing a lot of research so because there are so many people and scholarships are becoming more and more, more competitive let's face it a lot of people from our parts of the world and when i say our part of the world i'm talking about africa and even just most parts of the global south right want to travel to western countries to pursue high, higher education so there's a lot of com competition when it comes to scholarships so if you are not researching the next person is doing the work and they're likely to get the scholarship because you're competing for the same spaces you'd find some universities um sometimes it, some of the scholarships i share people the university might say they are they are offering just three scholarships that year for that course or even when it comes to like huge external scholarships they go through various processes they go through interviews they do this and some also just look at your application but whatever it is they they give it to people they feel deserve the scholarship so which is why you need to do a re you need to do your research have a lot of information in order to know what exactly to 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 to, to give them so if um you understand the scholarship and what the people are looking out for then you can tailor your application to meet that requirement the other thing also is that if you if you're able to tell the application meet that requirement, or just for you to be able to know different kinds of opportunities okay you hear a lot of information you do the reset then you know right so basically what i'm saying is that no matter how much information people share on their youtube channels you have to do more research outside of that um whether it is to check other youtube channels that are talking about the subject or doing your own investigation or ju just look thoroughly that's all i'm saying the third mistake you're probably making in your scholarship search is giving up easily the scholarship search journey can be like a full-time job sometimes so if you search uh, maybe you go to a to a university a and then they do not give you the scholarship um and then you apply you do not get it you if you give up easily you eventually you're going to get it the most important thing is to, is to keep doing it because if you apply the first time and you do not get it the next time you apply you apply from experience right and also it gives you an opportunity to to start from a place of knowing what to do better from what you did in your previous application so if you give up easily you will not get it i know people who have applied multiple times so i know someone who applied um for a scholarship so when i was applying for chivin to begin with let me start the story this way when i was applying for chivin chivin is a scholarship the chivin scholarship i knew in my heart of hearts that if i did not get the chivin scholarship i would apply again i would apply the next year I just said to myself look i hope i get it this time if i don't get it on my first try i'm going to apply again but guess what i was lucky um, and fortunate enough to get it on the first try but when i was applying i met um someone i met a friend we, we, we become friends now who is uh was in pakistan and he in the same year so we're chatting and sharing information about this about scholarship application scholarship applications unfortunately i think he did not get he didn't get um shortlisted for the interview so that year he did not get it the year so i i got a scholarship but the next year he contacted me we looked at his essays and then he got the interviewed and i think he got interviewed and he did not get make it past the interview the third year he applied again and then he got interviewed and and then he got a scholarship so and i know someone who's tried on who said it on their fourth attempt so basically don't give up if you really really know that this is something that you want do not give up you know do not give up so this year we go hard scholarship applications scholarship season is i call it scholarship season <laughs> scholarship season is coming soon and you're going to be applying for a scholarship we go hard this year make sure that you put in your best and don't give up if you do not get it you will apply again and if you do not get it you will apply and if you apply and then you don't get it 
pick up from experience what did i do wrong what how can i improve it who should i contact to help me so this year make sure you don't give up on yourself don't sleep on that dream like i said we go hard i hope that you you get the scholarship now moving to the very final one which for me is very important because i i think sometimes we don't pay attention to this so the final point is you're probably not getting a scholarship yet because you're looking at the wrong places you're probably just looking at the wrong places and you're not opening up your options so if you're trying to find a scholarship make sure that you open up your options sometimes people are very much um I mean it's good to know what you want so it's good to do okay i want to go to canada to study i want to go to australia to study or i want to go to the us to study but it's also good to open up your options can you uh, would you want to look at opportunities in in the uk would you want to look at look for opportunities in france what, what kind of op options are you looking out for and also just open up your options and when i say looking at the wrong place it is also really means that you're not going to the source of the scholarship so sometimes i i like i always say that the best place to find information about university scholarships is on the website of the university itself so if you're trying to find a scholarship make sure you open up your options and also look at the right places one of the places that people sleep on a lot is linkedin and i'm going to record an entire video sharing with you information on linkedin and how you can use linkedin to find scholarships so if you um if you've not subscribed yet make sure you subscribe so i'll be sharing that video i've really i've even planned that video i'm going to be putting it out so make sure that you, you follow because there are lots of opportunities on linkedin and other places that people really sleep uh, sleep on so expand your search look out for different places look out for different um areas and different fields and check out their eligibility and apply i really hope that this has been useful to you these are definitely not the only reasons maybe the, the reason you're not getting a scholarship is not has not been mentioned in this video right but just assess assess what you're doing wrong and find um ways to navigate and find ways to solve them find ways to improve on your scholarship search so i hope i hope this has been useful to you if you are interested in information on self-improvement and scholarships or education generally educational information make sure you follow this this channel i am keen to share a lot of useful information with you as i also work to become the best version of myself so we grew together um so thanks for watching if you love this video please like the video because youtube was, would would um recommend it to other people so please like this video it helps the channel leave any comments you have in the comment section below i'll see you in my next video lots of love bye